this particular system uh, has two arms instead of one because there are extra pieces of instrumentation on here which are required in the workflow. What is happening here is a step called tagmentation. The raw DNA molecules that are created from the previous system get cut and diced, but then um, they get tagged, and that's why the process is called tagmentation, with detection-based primers that can then be utilized for the actual next gen sequencing. DNA produced in the last system uh, comes into the system here and it gets further compressed. So there were two plates with reagents for further testing, they get combined. Um, and the power of the combination is primarily due to the detection means. Individual samples can still be combined in one well, but yet still be detected. So further compression of it really gives you a high density of data. One of the key instrumentation processes that is vital to the operations of this particular work cell is the purification of the amplified DNA that is produced here. As things are amplified up, we need to wash away any of the unused reagents themselves to make sure we have a, a nice, pure, clean product. Um, so with this liquid handler here, there is a magnetic plate, which the beads have bound any sort of uh, viral genomic material. And since it's attached to the magnets, any free remaining liquids can be aspirated off. There's also a wash station that would allow you to flush away any of the material that is being removed from the wells. And over a couple cycles of this purification process, you now have um, a clean product that can now be tagged for detection in the next gen sequencing.